Neil, a thrilling 3-2 victory at home to Gateshead and we'd uh, take a one goal advantage into the uh, second leg of the semi-final. Yeah, that was, you know, the second half was so much better than the first. You know, to go a goal down after less than a minute was it <laughs> was not what we planned. Um, but after the journey that we've had and, you know, all the games being disallowed and, you know, and everything else that goes with it, um, to come back like we did in the second half was phenomenal and uh, it just shows the determination that I've got in a bunch of boys in that change room. Bit of a difficult opening five minutes obviously with a heavily deflected goal and then Gates had hit in the post twice. We, we did respond to that. Yeah, we, well we had to. You know, we, at one stage it, it looked like every time they were going to attack they were going to score a goal. So the boys had to show character and sort of grab their arms and, 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 and getting into it together and you know and then we got the penalty decision and I think that was the turning point. And obviously uh, the goal slightly before half time uh, for Gateshead, a bit of a sucker punch we were on top at the time. Um, what was the message at half time? To believe in themselves, you know we, we, we're a team that you, you know stick together, work together, you know we work hard, we train hard and I just saw the first 15 minutes a team that didn't have that belief in each other and waiting for someone to do something and um, you know, in the end, you're looking for a, a, a team full of leaders, and the second half they showed that. Um, so, just the, you know, the, the, the whole thing was the belief. We actually found it in the second half, and I, I think you saw it. I think it was more like the Bromley team that, that we've had this season. Like you say, a fantastic team performance in that second half, but you have to pick out Louis Dennis. Two brilliant goals again, and he's been such a star this season. Louis, Louis is phenomenal, and um, I, I say it every week, and you know, I'll, I'll never get bored of saying it. That, Louis can do stuff that I can't coach. You know that Louis can do just what he, what he does, and uh, you know both finishes were phenomenal um, and sublime. But it's not a shock because he works on those in training. You know he doesn't just rock up and do it in the game. He does that every every day in training. So you know we've needed Louis today, and he produced. And um, you know as a, as a team they thank him. But it was also his hard work today. He put a shift in. It wasn't just about him when he got the ball. It was when he had didn't have the ball that he really showed what he can do for us. And obviously it's plain to see conditions here a bit difficult today it was a phenomenal effort from everyone to get the game on today I was here at 11 o'clock and I would never have guessed this game being on Ian Jordan come in and um, what he's done and, and and you know with all his help has been phenomenal to get this game on today you know if this had been a grass pitch this wouldn't be played today um, but Ian you know I can't credit him enough you know he's, he's been here a long time he's, he's always worked at this club and uh, you know, full credit goes to him, and that's hopefully that's a little bit of repayment as a thank you for getting that game on. Yeah, well, congratulations and thank you. Thank you.